It's 12.01. Here we go. Welcome, everyone. It's uh, Tuesday, so I think of this as Attention Training Tuesday. Um, yesterday, we practiced some, some basic mindfulness, just taking a step back and watching things unfold. Today, I'd like to focus on this experience of what it's like to focus one's attention on something. So the, the quote to kick it off is by Alan Watts. The ego is nothing other than the focus of conscious attention. Um, sounds like a mouthful, but it's it's actually quite a simple concept. Another way of putting this is, you know, whatever we focus on is uh, what what manifests as our reality in that moment. So, um, being able to manage or control our attention is actually a really uh, is is a foundational skill that that pays lots of dividends and so you know what what exactly does that mean there are different types of attention and today we'll practice a few different versions of them so there's this thing called executive attention right and when when we sit down and say i'm gonna try to organize my thoughts and and plan something out you know i'm, I'm trying to get somewhere i'm trying to do something specific so i'm going to use my executive attention to to focus and organize my thoughts and then there's this idea of sustained attention so my ability to maintain focus and concentration on a specific task over a period of time so time is the key here when it comes to sustained attention there is what we call alternating attention so the ability to shift between different tasks and the ability to filter out Irre irrelevant stimuli. So um, any of you that are parents know this experience very well, especially when they're when they're little. Um, we're bouncing back and forth between all kinds of uh, things so in, in the same roughly the same time frame it can be really challenging. Then there's this idea of selective attention. So I'm in a big crowd, I'm at a noisy party, and I'm trying to focus on a conversation with someone. Right, so I'm I'm tuning out other stimuli, and I'm choosing to direct my attention on something of my choosing. Um, and then there's this idea of divided attention. It's on the other end of the continuum here from selective attention. So a classic example of that would be driving your car, listening to music, looking you know at other cars at an intersection. Um, hopefully not texting or doing something else, but. That would be the classic example of divided attention. So this, you know, when we refer to attention, there are lots of different flavors of this, this superpower that, or this muscle that we can flex. And so I thought today we'd spend a few minutes practicing uh, some of these different forms of attention. So as per usual, let's start by closing our eyes. Bringing our attention to the here and now. So I like to focus on any sensations in my body. And the most basic sensation is what is my body in contact with? So my feet are on the ground, they're touching the ground. My butt and my lower back are in contact with the chair. My hands are in contact with each other. My face and my head feels palpably like it's in contact with air surrounding it. And so just noticing right here, right now, this is our body in space and time. And you can also add in this layer of what it's like to be breathing. I have a body that's inhaling and exhaling all on its own. And then let's bring our attention to our feet. Noticing our feet on the ground. So we're kind of activating this sense of executive attention right now. We're going to 
intentionally focus on something of our choosing. There's a stated goal there, which is I really want to see what's up with my feet touching the ground. So zeroing in this sort of laser beam of attention to our feet. You know, wiggle your toes. And really amplify the sense of what's it like to have feet that are in contact with the ground. And as we hold our attention on our feet, we're activating this idea of sustained attention. So there are going to be all kinds of mental distractions. Maybe there are noises around you or other sensations that are popping up, an itchy nose, sounds from around your, your home. But over time, if we can sustain our attention on our feet, We're flexing this idea of sustained attention. And if your mind has a tendency to wander, it's okay. Just gently bring it back to focusing on your feet. Now we're going to move on to what's called alternating attention. So while you can sense what's going on with your feet, so focusing on that. And now shift your attention to your breath, noticing your belly and your chest and your throat. Noticing each in-breath and out-breath. And then moving your attention to your hands. The main thing here is to notice what does it feel like when you move that, that, that focus or that locus of attention from your feet to your breath to your hands like shining a flashlight in a dark room and pointing it at different objects, becoming aware of them. And now you get to choose either your feet or your breath or your hands. Pick one of those points and simply focus on that. Bring your full attention to whichever one you chose. Just hold it there. what we would call selective attention, where you're making a choice. And now we're going to zoom out and we're going to practice what's called divided attention. So not focusing on one thing in particular, but rather we're zooming out and we're noticing what it's like to focus on the sensation of feet, of breath, hands. We're doing this all at the same time. We 
Maybe you can notice sounds happening around you. The ability to sort of take it all in at the same time and not focus on one particular object. I'm guessing with prolonged silence, there's a tendency for the mind to want to wander and attach to different things. And so we can, again, we can flex our executive attention and make a really concerted effort and choice as to what we want to focus on. So in this case, let's go ahead and focus on breath, the experience or the sensation of breath coming and going. sustaining that attention over time. And then zooming all the way back out a state of divided attention, noticing several things at the same time. And go ahead and take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale all the way through the mouth. And hold five. Four, three, two, one. Open your eyes and allow your body to breathe on its own. With eyes open, noticing there's a whole other layer of data coming in and potential for distractions, right? So the, the opposite of, of attention. And anyway, I hope this was a, a, a useful uh, practice just to highlight the different modalities that make up attention training and how we can basically practice them uh, whenever we want to. So hope to see you all tomorrow on Wednesday. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.